All right, I'm going to friction. I'll turn up to 0.7 elasticity, maybe down to one. And we're getting pretty close, just for the fact that I'm not going to make this perfect. I don't feel like sitting here and tweaking, tweaking, tweaking. But you get the idea of what you have to do, basically. See, like this guy over here. You might want to look at him. That's all I need to see. We'll just, um, I'm going to close that, close this. I'm going to create animation. It's going to give you a warning dialog box. Um, it says, are you sure? Of course, everything is, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Um, I'm in the habit of clicking this. Do not show this message again. But if you're new to this, um, you should leave that unchecked so you can be warned. Right now, it's filling in the keyframes for all our little buddies here. And close that. Now we can scrub the timeline and see it actually happen. Let's focus on this viewport. I'm going to close that. And I want to look for the fun standout guy that our camera will focus on. And I guess in this case, we'll just focus on this guy. This guy right here. And uh, what you have to do, because the collision tolerance only goes so um, so low before it starts giving you errors and won't let you do whatever. So I wait until everything is laying on the ground, and then I select all the shells. And once you zoom in... You see that they're not really laying on the ground. <laughs> and you guys might just be just now been like, who gives a shit? We don't see it that close. Um, well, again, I'm a fair good of good amount of retard and I have to do this kind of things. So this is gonna be our shell we focus on. So I'm gonna create a camera here, hold down uh control and hit C. You see it popped up a camera. And um, let's see where it comes from. So right away we know we want the camera looking there at this point. I'll round it off to 110 because again, that's part of my sickness. I'm going to hide this guy here because we no longer need him. Maybe the camera will start out looking up a bit. Not looking up to the point where it sees the shells, but maybe like, you know, right is going to see it. And that looks a little lame that they're not spinning or anything on the way down. I mean, we could technically do that, but we're not going to. I probably should cover that. God damn it, I just... Well, I don't know. You'll figure it out. So at 300, it sims to there. What you want to do is, when that the guy you're focusing on hits and he's up in the air, you just got to want to kind of track it every so often. So it hits the peak about here, back down, 200.
course on the last frame you want to add one more keyframe for the camera target and now we'll animate the, the body of the camera maybe I'll we'll bring it in here and as they hit boom This doesn't really show too many other shells in the background. This angle, that's a. Uh... And also, we could raise it up a bit, so we're not right on the floor. Now it seems like it's removed from the action, but we could zoom it in here. That looks pretty good for a camera move. Um, ideally, you would have some kind of plan on, like, you know, the re there would be a reason that you were firing. Or these shells were following, falling, such as, like, a firing gun or something. And all the shells would be smoking and... So they'd be spinning coming out of, you know, when they're, uh, when they're ejected from the gun itself, they'd be spinning already and whatever. But this is just the basics, like always. I always tell you that. And we're at about 7 minutes and 15 seconds now in our tutorial. So I might cut this one a little early. And we'll move on to the next part, of course, which will be the particles. And that, of course, is always my favorite. So I'll see you then.